Right now I want to show you the function buttons on the Garmin GPS Map 62 series. You can see these buttons down here that let you control the screen uh, and all the functions of the unit. So I'm going to show you what these buttons do on this unit here which is the 62 STC. First on the map screen you see we have in and out buttons and that does exactly that. Zooms in and zooms out. Next you have the find button, let's click that. And you see this gives a searching function for the find. So you can go through one of these uh, pre-selected uh, search results and you can find what you're looking for. Be it a waypoint, which you click on that and you can see it lists all the waypoints that Garmin has uh, defaulted in the unit or the ones you've made. You can look by photos which are geotagged, coordinates, tracks that you've made. Uh, the points of interest, cities, transportation, fuel services, auto services, communities, geographic points, tides, and other. And other is just simply, when you click on it, it says there's nothing there. You can hit menu and you can do a search or whatever you need to do. You'll also notice in tides there, that's actually the nearest uh, ocean area to where you are. We're here in Las Vegas. So you hit enter on that, and we'll just let it load. As you know, Vegas doesn't have much water around it. So Newport Bay is 231 miles away. You can hit enter on that, and you can see that point there. So that's all the find functions of the uh, find button. But if you also see there, you can see the recent finds has popped up. That's a button that's created when you do a find and you actually do a point. So you can see there, that was the point I looked at in one of my recent finds. It's the only one I've done. So that's another great little reference point to jump back to something that you do quite regularly. So let's just quit out of that and we're back to the map. Next is mark. That's marking a waypoint. At any moment you want to hit that button, it'll pop up this screen, no matter what screen you're on previous. You can see there it defaults the uh, numbers uh, to the next sequential numbers. It puts in a uh, icon image. You can add a note, location. You can change that uh, coordinates there by hitting enter and typing in new numbers. Elevation and depth. But all these functions you can click on and you can change to whatever you might want including the icon so that's the mark button and then you can either hit view it on the map or done and that will save it next you can see as i've been hitting through this is quit and enter quit takes you back a page enter takes you into the page or the, uh, the cell you're currently highlighted so you notice that when you hit mark if you go in here and hit enter you can see it takes me into the page and then quit takes me out and back to each step as I go back. Menu, that gives you the first button time you press, the first time you press the button, it gives you the menu for the screen you're on, and then you can press it a second time and it gives you the main menu of the unit, which then includes all these different functions that you can look at and review. In this case, this unit has a camera, so there's a camera button there. Uh, you have photo viewer, Route Planner, Waypoint Manager, Setup Track Manager, Active Route, Geocaches, Proximity Alarms, Site and Go, Area Calculation, Share Wirelessly, Waypoint Averaging, Calendar, Sun and Moon, Profile Changes, Calculator, Hunt and Fish, Stopwatch, Alarm Clock and Satellite. So there are all the functions you can look at through the menu. I'll go through those individually in other videos but it just gives you an idea of what options you can change. Now, this is considered one of the main uh, pages, as is the maps and other pages. So if you hit quit on this, it actually pulls up the scroll bar. And that's actually what you do with a page button. When you hit page at any moment, it'll take you through this scroll bar. And quit simply takes you back when you're in that scroll bar. So as I mentioned before, when you're on a main page and you hit quit, it'll bring up the scroll bar. But when you're on a sub page, like the mark button quit takes you back a page and then as I said you've got out and then you've got the uh, up and down left and right functions to navigate around the screen so that's basically the function navigation on the Garmin GPS map 62 series